Hi, my name is Dave, and this is Work in VR. If you do most of your work on a computer, imagine for a minute being able to do that work on an alien planet, or underwater, or in a jungle, or on a beach. Well, with Immersed, you can do exactly that. So in this video, I'm going to show you all about the 360-degree photo capabilities built within Immersed, where you can take a 360-degree photo and use that as your Immersed environment. Now, Immersed comes with several 360-degree photo environments already installed. They actually added several new ones recently, which are kind of amazing. And there's this neat new platform capability that I want to show you and, and go through some of that. But I'm also going to show you how to use AI to generate a 360 degree photo of whatever you can dream up and then import that photo into Immersed and then import yourself into that photo. Pull up your screens, kick back and get to work. With Immersed and AI generated 360 degree photos, the only limitation on where your office could be is your imagination. So let's jump in to Immersed and we'll see what this looks like and how it's done. Okay, here I am inside Immersed and I am in one of the normal environments. You can see I've got my screens. I can go ahead and hide those screens. And now in this environment, this happens to be the Alpine Chalet. It's a smaller environment. You can see the snow outside. Um, you can see the fire and the fireplace. It's really subtle, but there's like a sound. There's a crackling in the background. Uh, if I look up, the clock on the wall is ticking and moving. So this is an active environment. If you go to the main menu and you go to my room, then you see all of these different environments. I'm in the Alpine Chalet right now, but there's a whole bunch of different environments you can choose from, and they're all very interesting. Like here, another one is the starship so here i'm in the starship you can hear the engines rumbling in the background and you can see this incredible vista and you have the star field sort of coming at you um, i can show my screen but anyway these types of environments they're very active they have a lot going on and that's part of what makes them very exciting but what i want to talk about in this video in depth is the 360 degree photos so when you go to the My Room tab, instead of Environments, you can click 360 degree photos. And you, again, have a whole bunch of different ones to choose from. So first I want to talk about the, 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 the colors. So you've got blue screen, um, and you've got green screen. And these, I assume, are for you know some sort of uh, video editing. So for example, if I... Um, start a zoom meeting but you can move the webcam around and now here my avatar is on this green screen and so I could record this video and then I could you know edit some sort of a different background if I wanted to one that I want to show you first is uh, the void as its name implies there's nothing your your screens are floating in this empty space this is really good if you just really need to get rid of all distractions, all visual distractions, and really focus in. Nothing's happening here. But if you want a little bit more um, interest, but not a lot of busyness going on, you can go to some of the 360 photos that they have here. So they've got three space ones that are a, a natural sort of evolution from the void, so it's really nice. Um, you've got this star field, but it's still, it's, it's absolutely still, uh, which helps with concentration, and, but it's interesting. If you want a little color, you can go to the yellow nebula. So there, now this, the star field is kind of yellow, which is interesting. Um, or there's the green nebula, uh, which looks something like this. And in all of the 360 environments, something that a lot of people don't know is you actually can move. So if I go to change seat, I can. there's just a circle of seats. So if I go straight across to the other side, now my view is from the other direction. So if I really like this sort of view of the nebula, I can do change seat and I can look at something opposite. 
So there, or I can go over one more seat, let's say um, there. Now I've got this the view of the nebula that's behind the screen that looks really good. So those are different things you can do. There's several others. These are the ones that have been with, with Immerse for a really long time. Uh, you can go to Mountaintop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide my screens here. So you can see you're floating above the mountaintops, which is pretty fun. Over here we've got um, the next one where you're in this kind of snow field here. Um, let me just rattle through these real quick. Shrine is fun. I like to work in Shrine with some jungle sounds in the background, uh, which is fun. Or grass hills. So you have this nice sort of peaceful, serene kind of village or, uh, environment. And then uh, the beach resort, of course. You can work on the beach. And so I've been known to work on the beach quite a bit <laughs> um, here. So those are the ones that have been with uh, Immersed kind of forever, as long as I can. Uh, oh, and above the clouds as well. So here's above the clouds. Literally, I'm floating above the clouds. Now, uh, recently, the, the Immersed team released seven new environments. And you can see them here, the uh, Amethyst, or yeah, Amethyst Strand, Sun Dreamt, Storm Spire, um, and so forth. These environments are awesome, but you'll notice something different when you, compared to the other environments. So let's go into this one. Here we go. So now I am sitting on top of this sort of space age looking platform thing. I'm still in this immersive 360 degree environment, but now I have this platform and it actually kind of caused a little bit of a stink. I had to go here to make the screens smaller and closer in order to not interfere with the platform. You know, what I really want is I want those screens pushed back and I want them very large um, and pushed really far away, but I don't want the platform getting in the way. And so they did give us a way to handle that, and that is if you look down, there is this sort of um, eye with a slash through it. Uh, when you're on hand tracking, it's very difficult to actually get that. So I'm gonna grab a controller real quick, and then with the controller, I could actually point that down and click it and right there the um, the platform goes away. So now I can enjoy this in environment without the platform. Now there's one trick about this that you need to be aware of. Notice the platform is gone and if I expose my keyboard tray now my keyboard tray is here so I can see my keyboard which is great but the um, the platform is back. So again, I'll grab the controller, um, I'll say OK to my keyboard tray, and i got to reach around and turn it off again. So that's kind of annoying, but, um, but it's OK, because we, we do have a workaround. So you can be in this great environment. You can turn off the platform if you don't like it, and then you can still work in this environment. And then when you're done, you can put the uh, controller back down again. Uh, now, there's several of, of the environments that they added. I'll show those to you now. So we have Sun Dreamt. So here is Sun Dreamt. Really nice. Storm Spire. These environments are magnificent. And remember we can hide the platform if we don't like it. You have White Crag, which looks like this. Bergshore. It's funny in this environment, I always put my sweater on when I come in here. Ocean, and finally Ocean Crest. That's this one. This is the sort of uh, Luke Skywalker, Ray, you know, training <laughs> uh, environment. At least that's what it looks like to me. Because I'm a big fat nerd. Okay, so those environments are amazing. But what if you want a different 360 degree photo? Immersed allows you to bring your own custom photo into this environment. Let's take a look and see how that's done. First you go to the menu and then 
you scroll down to change environment. Now when I do this, it's going to put me on the beach resort, but it's going to give me some instructions here. Um, I need to make sure that Immersed has permission to read from storage, find a photo I like, and save it to the headset at android slash data slash immersed.quest slash files, and it needs to be named custom JPEG. So let's do that. I'll go ahead and bounce out to the actual beach environment so the instructions go away. Go away. I'll show my screens. And then now I actually already have a 360 degree image that my buddy Nate made. Uh, but you just go into SideQuest. I, I have SideQuest installed and connected to my headset right now. Um, and I'm going to go into Android, Data, scroll down. There's Immerse.Quest. And here is files and then copy that file any 360 degree photo as long as it's named custom.jpg and drop it right here you can only do one at a time but now that I've got the custom JPG here I'm gonna go ahead and hide my screens now when I go to change environment to custom BAM so now look at this it does have the scene here and I can also change seats and put my back to that scene. So now when I show my screens, I'm in this crazy, amazing environment and I'm ready to go, ready to do my work. Now let's say you want to use AI to generate your own 360 view and bring it here into Immersed. Let's see how we do that. First, we go over to a website called blockadelabs.com. So you can explore this system yourself on your own time, but if you go to Conjure Your World, it goes to the Skybox generator, which is kind of incredible. So right down here, and there's all kinds of help, and there's a Discord, and there's prompting guide, and so there's you can explore this on your own, but I can say something like create a scene um, similar to something from Lord of the Rings. And then I can you can actually select different styles. So realistic, illustrative, and so forth. Let's try fantasy, maybe a radiant fantasy painting. Um, and let's hit generate. And let's see what it comes up with. So here we go. So it came up with this. If I grab the screen and look around, it has like this castle and, you know, fields and so forth. And then maybe I can say, I can add something to it. I can say, um, let's see, in bright daylight, and then I can generate that. Let's see what that looks like. So here's what it came up with. So now we've got some bright daylight and we've got the trees and things. For the purposes of this demo, let's take this image and I'm going to download it. Download that to my desktop. All right, so I'm going to save that. There we go. Open up my side quest and then drag this one in. So there it is. I'm going to go come out of that environment and let's go back into the custom 360. And here we are. I'm going to hide my screens. So now I can look all around this environment and I see these great vistas. I can see there's the castle up there. Uh, but it's kind of incredible that it generated this, and now I am in that environment. And once again, we have a little scene here, but if, again, like with the other photo, I can kind of pick this spot, let's say, and now that seam is to my back. I have to kind of turn all the way around to see it. But I can uh, turn on my screens, I can pull up my, my code, and get to work in this really fun, dynamic environment. So there you have it. With Immersed, 
and AI-generated 360-degree photos, you will never work in a boring office environment ever again. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and I pray that God blesses you with an awesome day. Thanks for watching.